recently revisited the story of Scott Lang, the disgruntled employee who stole nearly $4 million from Vistacorp, the international cybersecurity and data storage conglomerate based in San Francisco, with a few high-profile burglaries already on record. It seemed Lang set his sights on a bigger score. His allegations about Vistacorp's participation in illegal activity split public opinion right down the middle. After serving just three years of a five-year sentence in San Quentin, Scott Lang is set to be released this week. Now, in his first interview since his incarceration, Mr. Lang is standing by via satellite. Sorry, it looks like Mr. Lang is just joining us now. One thing we do need to mention, Vistacorp does hold a controlling interest in this network's parent company, but they have not been implicated in any wrongdoing. Mr. Lang, how are you? Well, I'm still in prison, so, you know, bad. But I'm out of here pretty soon, so that's good. Scott, your story is well known, but let's revisit the details. You broke into the home of your former boss and stole $4 million. No, no, no. I actually refunded $4 million to customers Vistacorp was stealing from. I mean, or maybe a, a, a bit less than $4 million after service charges. What do you say to people who believe that you have fabricated this whole story about Vistacorp robbing its client base and it's just an elaborate smokescreen for a well-planned heist? What? Are you... Look, where do you people get your information, huh? What kind of news organization is this? Oh, that's right, yeah, one that's owned by Vistacorp. Mr. Lang, with all due respect, WHIH has been covering global news in detail for the past two decades, from the recent security breach at SHIELD headquarters to the earth-shattering events in Sokovia. Hmm. I reported on Tony Stark in Balmera, and believe me, you're no Tony Stark. Thank God. For someone with such a noble agenda, you went out of your way to destroy some personal property. Well, I felt it was important to really conduct a test. I have heard that those cars are waterproof. Oh, really? They're not. You seem very unrepentant, Scott. I mean, you, you can see why so many of us have trouble believing your side of the story. Yeah, so many of you that get paid by Vistacorp. I am tired of your biased accusations. You know what? Maybe I made a mistake, but I'm in here paying the price. Mm -hmm. Every step of the way, my name's been dragged through the mud by the media, and now I'm locked away from my family, and I'm the only one that's facing any consequences. That is pissing me off! That's right. Uh well, I... I think we've lost him. Um, we would like to thank Scott for taking the time to speak with us today. A shocking conclusion to my interview with Scott Lang, the mastermind Vistacorp cyber thief, who is set for release on July 17th. I'm Christine Everhart, and as always, thanks for watching Newsfront.